Good morning, Katanning. Uh, we uh, just finished up men's breakfast this morning. Uh, we have three different summer serve projects going on. This is uh, second to last week, so we got to finish up all the loose ends. Got to finish everything, all the projects that we've started. Uh, prepare for our big celebration next week. Let's go. Stop here. Got to check out the uh, community garden. Uh, someone needs to come and start helping us take care of this. Someone needs to start coming and picking some of this produce. Look at how beautiful these tomato plants. They're starting to come in. They're starting to turn red. Some red ones on here. Some red ones around the back. Look at these other ones. Just full of red tomatoes ready for someone to come and get them. Look at all those. And look at over here. Look at this squash plant. This is crazy. This was one little plant that started. You got fully grown squash in here, so someone's got to come and pick this stuff. Someone's got to come and help us eat all this. So if you know where this is, this is the corner of Grant Street and Arch. It's this huge abandoned apartment complex. It's just right out front. So come and get yourself a squash. Come and get yourself some tomatoes. You can probably get them every couple days if you want them. So uh, come out and uh, enjoy. That's what it's here for. Now we used to come and there would just be weed beds here, and we'd have to weed them out every single time and all those kinds of things, but. Doing the mulch this year and planting these gardens has really made a huge difference. This part's not so great though. How do we get people to quit doing this? This is ridiculous. Now see, I wasn't supposed to be working today, but these are just all around this house. Like, come on now. Oh, there's another one I missed. Gotta get all this garbage out of here. Put your garbage in the can, people. It's not that hard. Probably our most exciting project of the day. We're down at uh, Bradigan's and we're putting up a free little pantry here today. I wanna show you it. So Paul and Sharon Bradigan had this idea to put up a, a free little pantry and so they're going to be uh, uh, hanging this right on the side of the building here, uh, which is going to be pretty awesome. So it'll be available to the public all the time. If you know someone who needs a meal or is in, in dire straits, they can, they'll be able to come down here and just get a free, a free meal. Keep that in mind and if you have extra things in your, in your pantry that you're not using, uh, you can bring them down here and put them in the box so you can you know, give some when you, when you have extra and you can take some if you need some. So uh, it's gonna be an awesome program. We're gonna see how it goes and then maybe expand it across the city, but really excited for this first one. So I'm here with Sharon Bradigan. Uh, she was the one who originally uh, came up with this idea and uh, adding this to our city. And so uh, Sharon, how did you first hear about this? Um, I had been doing a little research and I'd seen that um, People were putting blessing boxes, they're calling blessing boxes, uh, up around the country in different different towns, different communities for folks that need them. And we feel at, at Bradigan's, and this is not a plug, but we really feel blessed as a family and a company and would like to, to pay it forward. Um, I really feel personally that I don't think anyone should ever be without food. I think that's Amen. a basic necessity of life and I just think it's important. Absolutely. So we're blessed to be a blessing, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, you guys do so much great stuff in the community. We just want to thank you on behalf of Living Water Church. Thank you on behalf of Katanning. We're really excited for what you guys are doing and uh, excited for what to see what God's going to do with this. Absolutely. We have uh, helpers today. Um, we have one of our employees, Jim Cogley, who is a member of the Living Water Church. And uh, he said, I'd like to get our church involved in this. And so with Andrew's help, uh, we had uh, Philip Tack actually build our little blessing box and we have several uh, members of the church that are helping to put it up right now on the building. Very proud to have them help us with this. Yeah, we're just so excited that we can get so many organizations together and start to build coalitions to do great things in Catanning. It's just uh, really exciting what God's doing. Yeah, hopefully. I'm, I'm just really anxious to see how it catches on. Amen. Well, thank you so much again and uh, we'll hopefully see you soon. Thank you. I'm thankful today we got guys that know what they're doing. Uh, we got Jim and Brandon and Al and John in here. Uh, this thing is pretty heavy, it's pretty well built. It should last for many, many years. Just a short time later, it's on the wall. Uh, they're going to go ahead and paint it today, get it looking really nice, and get it set up for use. So hopefully it'll be full and ready to go here in the coming days. It's at 503 South Water, so come down, put some food in, take some food out, and uh, be a blessing. 
I was coming back to the Habitat house for a quick meeting and there's Tyler up there working again. They're coming back to finish their uh, electrical project that they started last week. Good job, Tyler. There's Luke here too. These guys were supposed to take the week off, but hey, here they are again, working again. Okay, so I had a quick planning meeting for Habitat. Uh, now I'm gonna go back down and uh, show you what else is going on. So we're back at this house. You remember when we did it for Rock the Block when Habitat was here. And here's John again. You saw him earlier. He was putting up the, uh, the free pantry. He's working again. Thanks, John. Two in one day. Miss Sharon and Miss Marcy are uh, leading this little project, finishing up the, the porch painting. Got Sharon painting. Marcy's scraping today. Lauren's just visiting. Hi, Lauren. Great job, Marcy. Thank you. It's your first project, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. How's it feel? I'm good. I'm happy for you. Amen. Yep. So it's another great day in Catanning. Uh, three small projects done, but uh, a transformative projects. We're tying up all the loose ends. Next week's our last week. We're going to do yards one last time. Uh, we're going to do them as fast as we possibly can next next weekend. And so if you're able to come and help out, uh, you want to get started doing summer serve with us, next week would be a great time to start. We're going to finish the yards, go back to the church, and celebrate a really great summer. So I hope you have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you next week. Uh-oh, it's contagious. It's, conta it's mother to daughter now. She's contracted it. She's begun to serve. Here we go. today, but hey, Lauren inspired me. Thanks, Lauren. I'm trying to film here. So it's another great, so it's another great day in, so, so it's another great day in Catanning. Trying to film here, dog. Trying to film. Hey.